Hi, it's Tracy from HalloFameMoms.com and today I'm going to show you um, my brand new custom made homeschool lesson planner for this upcoming school year. Um, yes, it's custom made. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give you a little overview about it before I actually show you all the pages. Um, first of all, um, I did some researching on how some different moms were doing their planners. Um, uh, I used I used things I had at home. I used my own scrapbook paper. I used my laminating sheets. I I reused um, some sturdy um, three ring binder um, <clears throat> file folders. I um, I already had repositional um, divider tabs. Let's see what else. I had Velcro. Um, all my printables I found online for free. I made my own front and back cover with my laminator and my scrapbook paper. Um, let's see, is there anything else to just tell you real quick? Oh, um, well, it, and there's a special envelope thing I velcroed on here too. Everything I had at home, of course I had ink and paper, you know, I used my own printer. I did pay less than three dollars to have it coil bound and I it has I've seen it recommended strongly that you go with coil bound coil binding instead of some other options like comb binding and um, uh, three ring binder I like what Tina said Tina from Tina's Dynamic Homeschooling Plus on her blog she has a seven step process to um, creating your own planner similar to what I've done although <clears throat> I've done something you know my planner is unique to me of course but um, I liked her advice that going with a coil bound printer or, or planner is better than using a three ring binder um, it, because for some of us and I would be one of these kind of people um, you know sometimes we're, we have a hard time being satisfied and um, <clears throat> can be perfectionistic and um, you know just where we uh, will feel like you know maybe the pressure to add different forms maybe we'll come across something different something new we'll think oh maybe this will work better and with a three ring binder you can keep adding and taking away <clears throat> and then you have waste um, waste of time waste of materials waste of money and um, when you coil bound something um, it, it feels so good, you know, like it's like professional, it's mine, it's like my own art project here. You can personalize it and you can't add anything else to it. Um, of course, unless you have pockets you can stick stuff in or if you've done like me, you put some Velcro in some key places where you can, you know, store some things. And I'm going to show you what I did. Alright, so hopefully... You can see this, okay? <clears throat> and if it's if there's a glare because it is laminated and I'm I'm on in the sunroom, if if there's a glare on this when I look at the video, I'll share pictures at the end of the video so you can see. Okay, so I did my own custom cover with scrap of paper and my laminator. I have um, a calendar printed out for the next year and it's laminated, and on the back of that also laminated on the on the back side is um, a brainstorming gold sheet so something um, that I did with this is several of my sheets I laminated so that I can use a dry erase marker on them that way when I'm, I'm planning and I'm thinking I'm not wasting paper I can do it right on here and and those those forms um, I don't know if this book will just last me a year I have extra forms in here so that you know, if I make a mistake and I want to start over, I can rip the page out. But if I'm very savvy about how I use this book, I could squeeze two or three years out of it, depending on how much I, you know, I use the other forms. But some of the forms that I laminated, um, I did not bind into this so that I can carry them over to the next planner that I make. And, I, and you'll see why here in a little bit. But, okay, so with these laminated forms, um, I can just dry erase my ideas and then erase them later. If I want to do something um, 
Another option with this that I liked is that because it has the four squares, I can put the post-it notes in there, write out my goals, and then I can, you know, if something, if I need to, I can throw that piece of paper away, or I can transfer that piece of paper into another section of my book. So this first, there's basically, I have four sections in this book, mainly three, but the fourth section is for more for future planning for high school. My boys are just going to be in fourth and sixth grade, so high school is not a worry um, right now, but I do want to be prepared for it. You know, the whole world of transcripts and credits and having all the information you need without having to backtrack. So I'm thinking ahead. So let me show you what I did with my first section, okay? <clears throat> we'll save homeschooling for later. Um, <clears throat> okay, this whole first section is my goal planning section. Um, it focuses on homeschooling, but also character building. And um, I have curriculum resources. I have some sheets for that. Um, on the back side, uh, I'm not. I don't try not. To, I try not to waste um, much of anything in this in this book. On the back side, I had found a form that had a lot of just space to 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 customize, and so I have something on the back of it with some lines I can write on. <clears throat> okay, most of my printables came from Tina's Dynamic Homeschooling Plus blog. Um, the other place that I got some forms in, um, that I use is this place called, what's it called? Living Well, Spending Less. I think the only thing I got from their website was the student goal setter. So that each quarter you, um, is on one side of the page. You can set goals. I have two kids, so the extra pages, you know, I may or may not use unless I stretch this binder out for a few years. And then um, quarterly academic planner. So there's three months per page, and I have a few years of this of these copies in here. Um, okay, then here's my first sturdy yellow folder, file folder that I was talking about. I already had some of these at home from, you know, one or two other binders, so I just pull them out. In here I can keep co-op schedules, curriculum, magazines, you know, things like that. Um, my first set of laminated forms. Um, I can slide them in that pocket, or I can do what I just showed you here. I Velcro, put some Velcro on the back of this pocket, and um, some Velcro between the sides are on the sides of um, these forms that are laminated, so that they will stick together, and then they will stick here. And then I'm not I'm not having to fill my you know, I only have a couple, I have like three pockets in this, that uh, two that are, that will hold this kind of size paper, so um, I, I don't have to take up that space with these. So let me show you something about these forms real quick. Okay, so this is five year, it's a five year holiday list. It gives me the dates of the in the holidays for the net till between now and 2019. So this is not something I want to be stuck in my binder. I want to be able to take this out and transfer it to another binder when it's time. <clears throat> On the back, I did I found um, a field trip reference chart, ideas by season, just something to help me stay mindful of field trip ideas. You know, so I have this. Um, then some of the forms that I have in here in paper, I have laminated. I have a laminated copy of so that I can brainstorm goals before I put them down on paper, um, thereby saving a waste of paper. <clears throat> so here is a community service tracker. Um, that might be more for high school need, but I want my kids to learn how to serve. I want them to be mindful to serve others, so I can use that for that for this kind of planning as well. Um, curriculum resources. Again, I, I showed you that that page. Then um, another schedule that you'll see 
is um, a today's schedule, and there's that year, just some, you know, just some blank lines to write on. Um, let me get these back in order here. <clears throat> like here, okay. So then the, back to the paper forms. Tracking, community service. Then there was some character building, some just some other brainstorming type forms. Um, character building. Um, there's one for the math. There's one with different sciences. You know, like I think it was life science and um, other things. You know, just gives gives you more to write and think about. Yeah, your science, like life, earth and astronomy, chemistry, physics. Okay, the next section, um, and all my dividers, I used scrap of paper and laminated. Now, I took a black marquee, or Sharpie marker and doodled on this one. Um, but in the, in all my tabs are these repositionable tabs. This one is my lesson plans. Okay, so... I don't, I don't, I don't daily, weekly, whatever. I don't do that on a regular basis. But this next year, um, I'm going to need to do some, some of that kind of stuff. So, in this section, I have these very blank lesson plan forms. I have about 27 two, two spread sheet, um, two sheet spreads. So I can track. I can work out a lesson because we're going to be doing some eclectic things. Like I'll show you. For example, um, I'm a master book reviewer, so I have a bunch of books that I've reviewed over the years for master books, and I don't want these to just, you know, go to waste. They're good educational uh, material, and so, you know, here's a here's one for example on astronomy, and um, it has there's three levels. You can teach to three three different um, uh, level of students. So I can use my lesson plan section to help me devise a, a schedule for how to use this astronomy book. Okay, so um, but that's just an idea. So there's, I have, this is my lesson planning section for the goals that I'm brainstorming in the first section, you know, working them out in the middle section. So then I also have um, the weekly, this next section is weekly and daily um, schedules. Again, I'm not a I don't, I don't do this stuff on a regular basis. I don't keep a you know, a book for this. But the, I may want to do my lesson plans in this manner on some days, some weeks where it's light. Um, here's a whole week at a glance. You know, maybe we'll just do field trips. Maybe we'll watch some educational videos, and then, you know, have some specific math lessons that um, I don't need to, you know, write a bunch of notes in for because you know, like we use Saxon and. Um, but we do other things on the side, so okay. So then there's weekly. There's some to do uh, daily to do chart or uh, pages for when I feel like I need to do something more daily focused. Here's my second and last big um, sturdy um, folder, and this is my high school section. And of course, it's all future planning. Um, since my son is my boys are not that old yet, um, but. <clears throat> I have a list. I printed this off. Um, it's Ohio's graduation requirements. They have some new changes in that. Um, so then I have laminated the forms so I can, you know, work on those without wasting paper. Just to kind of get it, just to get a feel for what I'm going to need to know and be prepared to plan for. And then I have some blank sheets there. And then on the back. I have one of these vinyl folders, things that I had bought probably last, the beginning of the school year on sale from Office Max. And I Velcroed it. And this is just a great option. Being able to Velcro things onto other things you have expands your um, storage possibilities. So this has a, uh, you know, something I could slip some papers in there. Smaller papers I could stick in here to keep them from falling out of my my planner, if it gets tipped over. 
and it velcros right on, so I can take it off if I want. I can change it if I want to change the color. Back in my cover is just some scrapbooking things that I had, and again, I used what I had. I didn't go out and um, you know buy a whole bunch of brand new stuff so that it would look like something specific. But I used what I had, matched it up about as best as I could, and I really I I love how it turned out. I love that it's very sturdy. It feels really good, good quality. And at the end of the year, um, this will be just a nice keepsake slash record keeper for what we did this one or two school years, whatever I get out of this particular binder. And it's so, you know, if you already have everything at home, um, I mean, you know, three to four bucks without a discount to get this bound. And if I hadn't done my own um, cover sheet and backing, I might have only had to pay, I think, you know, a dollar or two to have them do something. Um, not that they would have done this. They, might, I mean, they probably could, but um, you could just get like a plastic sheet, you know, in front of your cover page to protect it. And I guess that's it, you know. So I'll look over the video, make sure that you can see the pictures good. If there, if I see that there is a problem with it, then I'll just add some pictures to the video. Um, so. With that said, um, if you like the video, consider giving me a thumbs up. I don't usually ask that on my videos, but I've seen other people do it, and I thought, okay, well, if you like the video, that's an option, you know, and it could help me. So I guess a thumbs up would be nice. Or if you have um, any questions, leave me a comment, and I will address it in either another YouTube video, or you know, maybe just I'll email you or, or just comment. I will just address it in the comments. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I'm on Pinterest, Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, you know, so my blog, and my blog, so, you know, if you want to follow me in those places, you'll find those links, um, in my YouTube, on my YouTube channel and at my blog, hallofamoms.com, and, um, that's it for now. Oh, and I do want to say another thing, um, um. I was thinking about how this this binder idea would be really nice for like um, you know just some of the papers like keepsakes that that I want to keep for my boys from the years past like I don't want to keep everything and um, the notebook sec the notebook the three ring binder notebooking that I used to do um, for them every year I don't I don't do that anymore I might need to do that. I might need to do some version of that next year, but um, from those papers, anything I want to save, I could have them coil bound into a book like this and laminate a cover page and it would be a keepsake for my boys of just some things that they did that school year or maybe I'll even combine, since they're in fourth and sixth grade, maybe I'll um, even combine um, you know, some of the grades and make it one book. Because I don't want to have, like, lots of books, you know, and just, I don't want to be like that. I want to keep things kind of minimal, but have, you know, something nice for them from their, um, from their childhood. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.